Welcome back, my horde. So we're going to do the last movie in the grouping, The Godfather. So, um, my first comment about it is actually the fact that uh, his law is actually pretty interesting. Equal punishment for an equal crime. Yeah. Because that guy wants, you know... He wants the guys to die. Well, that's not justice. Yeah, you, you, they didn't kill your daughter. So, we'll rough them up, but we're not going to we'll kill them. We'll do what they did to her. Yeah. So, why why on your daughter's wedding? I think it's just the fact that it's supposed to be a thing where um, you're supposed to be very you should be the giving. One, you should be the one yeah. giving gifts to... Theoretically, what you're giving... That's the thing is, you are giving your daughter away that day. Yeah. So, theoretically, because you're giving your daughter away, you're also giving out other things to other people. I guess. But, nonetheless. I like the quote that they used. A man who doesn't spend time with his family is no man at all. That was an interesting <coughs> quote from the beginning. So, the next one I have written down is the fact that it's a really odd struggle of partying and trying to keep everything, like, stay secret. Yeah. Like, it was just so weird. Like, the one guy's, like, walking around taking pictures of people, and then, like, he gets his camera, like, rip, like, you know, you can't take a picture of this man. Yeah. It's like, that's weird. Or the cops that just showed up and started, like... Taking pictures? Yeah, like... I thought it was kind of interesting, and at least sort of decent, where, you know, they smash the one cop's... Camera and then throw the money at him? for it. Yeah. The next thing I have written down is the fact that the girlfriend of... The younger brother there. Michael? Yeah. How she has no clue that he's a part of the mafia at all. Like, he's slowly zero yeah. ideas. Like, he's willing to bring her to this thing and hasn't given her a single bit of a warning. Yeah. Like, it's just so weird. Yeah. Uh, the next one's actually uh, the horse scene. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if the horse have, scene was in this movie or in the second one. Do you have anything else you have to add before the horse movie? Or the horse scene? It just, this movie definitely shows, it's about who you know and how to flex. Yes. For sure. For sure. And the, um, the racial slang is so unreal <laughs> in this. Like, just the amount used, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> And then, when you say unreal, it's like, you know... That... Like, just the amount that they use, and the different terms they use. Yeah. I guess I forgot to bring this up in the Warriors movie uh, review. Uh, but it's such a difference of the movies, too, because they came up really close together. Yeah, 72 and 79. And the concept is that the Godfather, like, you know, there's uh, all these people who are Italian saying really racist slurs and, yeah. you know, even towards each other and stuff like that. And then you have the Warriors, in which... The leader of the Warriors was a black, black guy who they didn't treat differently at all. Yeah. Like, for sure. just night and day. Yep. The only thing in Warriors that really bothered me was uh, Ajax, or the heck was his name. Yeah, Ajax. Who just kept saying, you know, basically people were gay. Yeah. But we need yeah, the other word for it. Or you're a, a wimp. Or... Yeah. Well, he used to say the uh, the English word for cigarettes yes. fag a yep. lot. Yes. So, but anyway, go back to this movie. Um, anything else you have to add before the horse scene? No. You know you sleep like the dead when <laughs> someone can right? actually put a horse head in your bed. Maybe they drugged them. I don't think they did. Cause yeah, that, that's about the only thing I can think of. It's like, how do you get a uh, a horse head? A decapitated horse well, head. Theoretically, and that horse head was real. Oh yeah, no, I remember reading that. Yeah, is that's why the actor actually quit? I wanted to quit right after that scene because he realized it was real, and he was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you guys?" But uh, the director got it from like a, a slaughterhouse or something. Yeah. Uh, but the weird part about that was the fact that, yeah, like you you have to sneak past all the security too. So it's not like you're just sneaking past him and, like, you know, you have to sneak past his security, kill his freaking horse without it making a sound. Yeah. Sneak into his house, put it on his bed, 
and still somehow get most of the blood on him and not everywhere else. Whoever freaking killed that horse was a professional. Just a bit. Like, um, the drug deal. That's the next part I have notes for. Yeah. The Godfather's outfit looks oddly cheap. Like, I don't know if you guys remember the outfit, but it, really. it just, like, everyone else is wearing those, like, you know, things. And it looks like his is, like, made of, like, cotton. Or, like, wool or something. A yeah. wool. That's what it is. Yeah. Wool. Because it's, like, he's got, like, the fuzzies and... Yeah. It looked really, really weird for cheap. him to be wearing. Yeah. yeah. Very cheap. I thought, because when you said director, you're, you're talking about the him being approached and whatever, like, that meeting, right? Yeah. I thought he handled that fairly. I agree. You know, I'm not interested, but all the power to you. Good yep, luck. Yeah, go still do it. You have my, you know, you have the ability to go still do it. Just we're not going to participate in it. Because I know that the people that I deal with, if they found out that the, uh, they were backing me and I was dealing drugs, that they would stop backing me and yeah. I'd lose all those people. Yeah. Like, it's, throughout the entire movie, like, it happens again. Yep. Yeah. At one point where he's actually kind of explained that. I'm like, you guys are fucking idiots. Like... You guys are the mafia, and you're not grasping the fact that, you know, yes, he's got 22, you know, politicians in his pocket, but all the politicians will leave him and you guys if he freaking, you know, starts dealing in drugs. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's made in the in that meeting that, you know, oh, he has so many politicians in his pockets that he's not willing to share. It's like, yeah, because you guys are doing, you know, like, worse shit. Well, even at, during that meeting, it's like... Uh... Vito was commenting, when have I ever turned a, a request down except for once? Yeah. Um, the <sighs> next part I actually have is um, the guy that the guy that's supposed to protect him. Luca. Uh, yeah, Luca Brosi. He just drops his gun. No, like the, the kid. Oh. Like the kid that's actually... Oh, like, yeah, outside. Yeah. yeah. He just drops he his just gun. He freaks out, yeah. Like later on, uh, you know, like... It's the, it's the thing, it's like, in my head... Knowing what the mafia does, just knowing enough, like you know, if I was that kid, even if I was actually in on it, which I wasn't, that kid's not in on it, like he's not. Yeah. You know, I would shoot at them. Even if I'm not that great of a shot, I'd still shoot at the guys that shot at him. Yeah. Like, why did he not shoot back? He just like, and not even just that, but he just drops the gun, sits to the Godfather, who's bleeding, and goes, "Oh, that sucks." Yeah. Like. Like, not trying to cover up the blood, not trying to panic or scream, you know, like someone yeah. call an ambulance or... One thing I, you like, know, I went on to IMDb and looked at some of the trivia for the movie after watching it. Whenever there's a, going to be a death or a near death, there's always oranges. Hmm. Um, then next... Because Vito was, you know, dealing with fruit and oranges mm. when he got shot. The next one I have is, uh... Why Michael finds out through a newspaper that his father's been shot before anyone calls him. Yeah. Like, I understand that, you know, you know, he may not be the easiest person to contact. He was in New York, wasn't he? Uh, I yes. So. But... With his girlfriend. Yeah. But a newspaper would have to take, you know, going with the concept. It would take a few days at least. Not even days. It actually took hours. Yeah. But they would not print new papers until the next day. Usually it's a 24-hour printing process. Like, Yeah. So the concept is like, you know, and it was late at night and I just don't get like, you know. Yeah. Unless I'm missing something like, you I know. I thought they said they've been trying to get a hold of you. They, they said, where were you? Not that we were trying to get a hold of you. Where were you? Yeah. It's like, you know, I don't know. It just felt like they tried half-assedly to get a hold of him. Yep. Yeah. Um... So, if the Godfather dies, why would they lose the contacts? Wouldn't they be part bound to the family? Like, I don't know much about the Mafia, but you would think that, you know, he's been training his son. Yeah. So, wouldn't those contacts be part of the family? Like, they're, they're being paid by the family. Now, yeah, maybe he would actually have to talk to them. I think he would have to, to make a, real, like a new deal with them. Yeah, but that's the concept. I would, I'm just going to... Uh, that's the thing though, is they didn't lose the contact, uh, contacts, it would be a chance of losing the contacts. And yeah, the way they were making it sound is like, if their father dies, everything's gone. Yeah. Everything's gone. They've lost everything. Well, if that's the case, the guy, uh, not to be rude to him, but he was like, 
already in his 50s, if not older. Movino? Uh, the Godfather, yeah. 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 So you would think that, you know, he would actually start moving some of that stuff over to his son already. Yeah. Because, you know, I could die at any moment, yeah. honestly. And to be fair, I don't think, um, I don't think Vito called them himself. Like, if he had to call yeah, them, yeah, exactly. he would use Tom, their lawyer. Yeah, exactly. I liked Tom. Yeah. But yeah, like, exactly, Tam. So you would think that, like, Tom would then have to sit down with them and go, okay, so, you know, yeah, you don't know the, the, uh, the son that well. You know, you haven't been working for him with, you know, him for years. But he, you know, he's going to be like his father. All the same deals are going to go across. And then there's a chance that, yeah, maybe they'll lose one or two of them. But I don't think you'd lose every single one of them. Like, there's a chance, but it's not like a guarantee. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. But they're making it sound like it was a guarantee they lost everything. Well, the only reason why they would lose everything is if Sonny, who was very aggressive, yeah. fucked that up. Yeah. Which, you'd think that, you know... You would think that the kid would actually have, like, you know, been trained by his dad for yeah. longer, you know, seeing how that was going to be the plan. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it felt like... It was weird. Yeah. It felt like, kind of like, um, the godfather wanted out of the family business so bad that he didn't train his kid how to be a part of the family business. Well, I know he never wanted that life for Michael. Yeah, but that was different. Yeah. Like, but he was Sonny, one of, I yeah. believe that was his oldest son's name, yeah. right, Sonny? Sonny was his oldest, yes. And so Sonny he, was going to be a part of it. As far as I know, it was always the, uh, the idea he was going to take yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was going to give Sonny a better life because he was trying to make sure that, like, the entire family could get out of the business completely. Yeah. Which has always been weird to me. In um, mafia things and stuff like that. I really wonder how many people actually did get out. Because like. They're always talking about. Like in so many of these movies. We're just going to go legitimate. Yep. We're going to go legitimate. Yep. Our goal is to go legitimate. And then someone else kills them. Which has never made sense to me. Because like. For example like you know. Let's say I'm a drug dealer. And you two are drug dealers. And Chris is like, you know what, I'm going to save up my money, I'm going to you know, get out of the drug business, and I'm going to uh, go into uh, pharmaceuticals. Yep. And my whole thing is like, cool, that's more people for me. Instead, I shoot you, cause problems, and then can have to slowly take over the shit you've been dealing with. Yep. Rather than just going, you know, hey, you want to go into pharmaceuticals, Chris? Here, I'll help you. Why am I helping you? Because what I want in return is I want all of your uh, people. I want them to work for me. Yep. And even that you're not taking with you to the pharmaceutical stuff, I want them to work for me. Yep. Like, you know. Um, the next part I have is actually a comment about uh, Mike. Mike is smart for someone who has never wanted to be part of the family. Wonder if he's uh, it's because of his military training or if he learned learned the family stuff without actually like you know really yeah. learning it because like he walks up he to there. He's always there. Yeah, well, he wasn't for a long period of time. Well, well, well he was enlisted or whatever. He uh, he was probably in. He probably enlisted, not drafted. So yes, he did enlist. Um, he joined the military right out of high school, from what I understood. Okay, but and it's the concept that made his dad proud. <clears throat> yeah. But the concept I was trying to make is the fact that, like, um, when he got up to his dad's, he was, like, he immediately knew something was wrong. Yeah. Like, he was starting to notice the things that were wrong. And I wonder if that's part of his military training that helped him with that, or if it was the fact that he hadn't learned enough about the mafia to know that the mafia was getting involved in something again. It's probably a little bit of both. And uh, that's what I was meaning. It's like, out of the whole movie, like, you know, like, it, and, like, where the fuck was the mom? No idea. Like, she's never shown in the entire movie, uh, really. She's definitely a lot in the beginning, because she's the one that's uh, singing and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, but she's never... I, I never see her talk to Mike, if I remember no. the movie correctly. She yeah. never talked to Mike, and her... and uh, After the beginning of the movie, I don't think I've ever seen her. Yeah, I think she was there when they were, at one point, having dinner. Yeah. And they're like, we don't talk business at the table. I don't even remember seeing her, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I think she... I don't know if she was sitting at the table or if she was bringing stuff out, but she was. She was. Yeah, Vito never general. discussed uh, business at the table. Yeah, but it's just how little she was actually in it, and like when uh, 
when they were talking about Mike about the fact that he's going to go see them, like his dad. Uh, it was like, oh yeah, your mom's there too. She wasn't there. Yeah. So where the hell was she? Yeah. And then uh, Mike equals charisma. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Jesus crap. Yeah. And then uh, my next comment is, holy crap, nudity. Yep. I was really surprised for a 72 movie. I was not sure if there was going to be nudity in that one or not. But there was nudity. So, and then my next comment is, um, I was really confused about the next part. You know, Mike kills the two people. Like, we know that Mike kills the cop and he kills the uh, drug dealer. Oh, yeah, and the... Um... In the restaurant. In the restaurant, yeah, okay. Yeah, we know that that happens. That's fine. Um, but he, then he flees the country. Going to... Uh, Italy. Italy. Um, does everybody know he did it? Because it's really unclear to me. Like, uh, Well, I think the... Uh, I know the that the family, family did. does. But yeah. I don't know if everyone else does. Because like they're talking about the fact of like... You know, he can't come back. He can't come back. I would, I would think that I think it's the constant. his family knew. Yep. And the other family knew. Because, it, you know, they all knew the, who the, was going to be there. Yeah. And so, you know, it's but Michael. Then, then did the cops? The cop, did the cops know? Probably not. Because that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, it's just like, as it goes on, I can't tell who did not know. So I'm like, does the cops know that Mike did it? Like, like it's just so confusing to me. Um, my next one comment is, uh, when the sister's having the fight with her husband. Yep. What are the plates made of? China, I would assume. Because they broke really goddamn fast. Yeah. Like, they broke, like, if they were paper. No, I would, like, I would say they were probably China. They were probably the really thin, like, delicate yep. stuff, because... Yeah, because she just, like, taps them together and they break immediately. Yeah, I'm sure if you went into your, your kitchen and grabbed two plates... I did that. I um, bashed two plates. I actually have a plate because I can argue your statement. I have a plate where I dropped another plate on top of it. My plate took a chip in it. Yeah, it's fine. It, yeah, but we also like, have like weighted plates. Yeah. yeah, like my plate literally fell on top of the other plate and it gave a groove in my plate, like it chipped yeah. in my. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I was pretty sure you can go to your kitchen, get two plates, and do that, and they wouldn't just break. No, they won't. Like that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. it's so freaking crazy. Like, um. The sister's husband. Does he think like he wouldn't be linked to the bruise, like to the brother's death? Like it took how many years for it to happen? Like I actually bring yeah. up again. I'm like, what the fuck happened here? Yeah, yeah. It's not the first time that Sunny comes to her rescue. No, it's not. But everyone knows like what happened. Like Sunny goes and beats him up because he beats up his sister. Yeah. And then a couple weeks later, if that. Sonny is shot down when he's told that his sister's getting beaten up by her husband again. Yep. Which There's means that... There's a real big leap in logic here to figure out what happened. Yeah. And it's just, it's so weird that no one then does anything about it. Yep. For years. Uh, and then my next comment was, do any mob families ever really become religious? Like, fully legit? Like. And then my comment is, <clears throat> about Mike. Mike marries a girl. She dies. Yep. And he goes a year. Then goes back to his ex that he left almost two years ago. At least. How long was he in Italy? A year at least? Uh. No, he actually. Uh, it was a little bit less. Okay. Because yeah, it, I think it was Italy. about a year, maybe tops. But yeah, it, it's the concept that he actually says. She goes, well, how long have you been back for? A year. And he goes, a year. So there's that. That's when, after she got killed. Yeah. Because he's going back when she got killed. Yep. And I think he'd been gone for about a year before that. Yeah. So two years, he left this woman. And he's like, yeah, I'll just go back with you. I, ignore the fact that I was married once. Like. I'm not even sure if she knows that he was I don't think she, he ever tells anyone. But. Um. Oh, so the contract. Um, it's when they're talking to the singer. 
And he goes, yeah, I would like you to uh, sing for us five times a year. Or, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't think it's actually singing, now that I'm actually thinking about it. It's actually, I think, because uh, I wrote down singing. But I think it actually is, he just has to go there and get drunk five times a year. Yeah. Yeah, the contract says for him to make a celebrity appearance. Yeah. If he sings, great. If he doesn't, whatever. But he and just he's has also to... supposed to flex his other celebrity friends yeah. to go there. But seriously, that oh, yeah, sure. If that's what the Godfather wants of me and that's all he wants from me for all the stuff that he's given me, yep. yeah, five times a year, I'll go there. Hell, yep. I'll go there once a month. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. Like, seriously, as a... Person, I'd go there once a month, and when anyone asks like any interviews or anything like that, anytime I talk, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, I love this place. I go there as often as I can." Yeah. Saying shame, I have to like work so much, or I go there so much more often. They feel like family to me. Yep. Like I'd be, I'd be pimping the hell out of it because I want to be so bad on the Godfather's freaking good books. Yeah, for sure. Because he had done so much to make sure I was put in that movie. He made sure that my singing career. I originally got it. Like, he's done everything for me. Yeah. Well, yeah, because he was actually uh, Vito's godson. So. Yeah. Um. And then my next one was like, did the sister's husband not get punished for this? I'm like, or is this like a new guy? Like, I was so confused. I'm like, oh. Everyone knows. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Um, and then my next question was like, how many years later did they do, like, did they take before they confronted the husband? Uh, well. It had to have been many because. It was a while because they waited until Vito died. Not even just that. No, they waited even longer than that, man. Because the, uh, the kids, they wait till he had a goddamn fucking heir. Yeah. On top of that, it took him longer to have a kid. Then it did Michael. <laughs> Michael had two kids, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, he had one that was able to walk and one that was had to be held still. Yeah. He had two kids before they had fucking one. Mm -hmm. And his one kid had to have been around six? Yep. Like... So maybe... So you know, like it had to have been... Just waiting for him to have an heir? Eight, eight to ten years? Yeah. After my brother dies... I finally get my revenge upon you? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure they did wait until uh, Vito died, though. Before... Oh, that, they definitely waited until Vito died. Yeah, you, she even yeah but that. I'm pretty sure Vito died, and they still waited longer. Yeah. There was definitely some time between, because, of course, the, the, the daughter had to grieve, but... Yeah, no, yeah. I, I would have put a goddamn fucking bullet in his head The fucking... <laughs> The second after Sonny had died. The moment Sonny had died. As a just a general freaking person. Before the Godfather could tell me no. I would have walked up to the guy when he was on the street. No one else was around. Pull up my gun. Put one in the fucking back of his head and walk the fuck away. Not even tell anyone what the fuck it was. Not go, this is for Sonny. Nothing. Just yeah. put a bullet in the fucking back of his head and go, it's done. It's done. Like, and then basically later on be like, that was for fucking Sonny. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, and then they end up, I think, just blaming it on uh, Brazzini, which was another... Oh, it um, was actually, yeah. I think, Braz the, the Brazzini did it, but he got... Oh, the... Brazzini was the one that put the hit on Sonny. He yes. was actually the one that enacted it. But the brother-in-law was the one that actually said, hey, I know how to get him. Yes. Actually, they may have gone to him. Yeah. They may have gone to the brother-in-law, because yeah. the brother-in-law had already been, uh, shown dislike for Sonny. So. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I mean, it was like Michael asked, you know, which, who approached you? Was it A or B? Don't tell me it wasn't either of them, because I know one of them did it. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And the fact that they kept, they still kept Tom as the lawyer, but they took him out. Well, I like that. I like that at one point when yeah. Mike said that to him. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Mike that said to him. Yeah. That you're basically out. And, he's, and like, he's like, why? Uh, what have I done wrong? And like, he's like, nothing. You've just been, you know, you're a lawyer. You're not a warrior. Yeah. A war conciliary. Yeah. You need to be out. So he, that's when he was dealing with his And, I, I, and I, then... I thought, actually, when I originally watched the movie, and even when I watched it a second time, and they were talking about this fact that someone was a snitch. 
and like that someone was going to betray them. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I really fucking hope it's not fucking Tom. Yeah. Yeah. No, Tom was very. And then no, like Tom actually was like, you know, because it's the. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, was it Tom that brought it up, or was it his father that brought it up? That someone will come to you to ask you to do a meeting. Vito did it. Vito yeah. told Michael, someone, someone will come to you. Yeah. And that whoever is that is, they're the ones who betrayed you. Yeah. And I was really afraid it was going to be Tom. Yeah. And then it turned out to be that one guy. Which I love that the other one was one of the murderers. Yeah. Like, he got to go kill somebody. So, you know, they trusted him and he would go kill someone for him. I, I, I think, besides Tom... Uh, because I liked Tom. Um, I think my one of my fa- other favorite characters was that big pudgy guy that actually like got the the gun planted and stuff. And he's like, you know, he was the one that was cooking, and you know, he was just yep. he was a very upbeat guy. And he wanted to like he wanted to branch off from the Corleone family to do his own. And of course, they had to get the Godfather blessing and stuff like that. But they're like, okay, after this happens, then we're okay. You can do that. But it was just the fact that he's just like, hey, like, he was just one of those guys that it was just like, you're that's, fun. That's the one that was one of the two, wasn't it? He was the one that um, used the, um, I can't think of the word. Garot. Garot, yeah, thank you. On yeah, the brother Yeah, he's the, the he's the one, uh, one, the other guy. It was either, it was between him and the other guy on who betrayed them. Yeah, it wasn't. And yeah, it I, wasn't. I thought it might have been him. Yeah. Because the way they were kind of talking, it's but yeah, like, I kind of like him. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But yeah. apparently, uh, the actor had annoyed the director or producer or whatever at one point. So that scene of where he was running up the stairs to get to the door or whatever made him do that like six times. Well, at least that's the only thing he did. Just like make you, you know, run a bunch, despite the fact that you don't want to. <laughs> also, apparently, I, I guess in the script, it says that uh, when he was cooking. Uh, he boiled or something. I can't remember. But that actor's like crossed it out and said, fried. Monsters don't cook or don't um, boil or something like that. It was kind of funny. But, um, yeah, it was kind of sad that the one guy died. The one guy, the big guy at the beginning. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the guy that was actually like super loyal. Yeah. Like. Yeah, he was their... Their muscle equivalently. Yeah. Not their fixer. <laughs> like, because at one point, it's, he's actually trying, like, it's also really interesting that even though he's, like, such a loyal person, he was so worried about messing up the words that he was going to say yep. to the Godfather that he was rehearsing just thanking him. Yep. And, like, you know, like they were saying is the fact that he wants to thank them because he's just muscle. He's no one special. He was not expecting to be invited. Yeah, so he was like, I would like to see the Godfather because I want to actually, you know, thank him for inviting me. Yeah. Because now I feel like family. Yeah. So anyway, that is the end of this episode. So, until next time, I hoard. Because I forgot to actually, you know, do the Rotten Tomatoes thing. I guess I'll throw that in right now. So, on Rotten Tomatoes, the um, critics gave it a 98%. The audience gave it a 98%. Yeah. And IMDb gave it a 9.2. Close enough. So. It, it is one of those movies. For sure. So. Uh, the proper end here. Is what I'm going to shove here. Uh, you never go against the family. Yep.